Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn the basics of digitizing in ArcMap. First of all, we have to take a georeferenced image which is projected and georeferenced perfectly. We can see that this image of Dhaka City is projected. Now, we have to see that what features does this map contain? We can see that there are uh, district headquarters, the boundaries, roads and railways and water bodies. For that, we have to create a geodatabase where we will keep our digitized features. We are naming it as Dhaka file geodatabase. We will create this geodatabase under a folder. And under geodatabase, we will create feature datasets. As we are going to digitize points, uh, the line features, then the polygon features, we are going to first of all create all the feature classes to digitize this. And we have to take feature classes under feature datasets. That's why we have to first of all create feature datasets. As we, as we were we are going to uh, take headquarters so I have taken administrative headquarters as a feature data set then I have seen that uh, there are boundaries district boundaries and Tana boundaries that's why I have taken the feature data set naming boundary now I am taking boundary uh, transport network now I am taking transport network as a feature data set where I will keep the road and railway feature then I will take just a water body as a feature data set now under feature data set we have to take feature classes I have named it as headquarter and we know that this headquarters are point features that's why I have given points now it is very important to take a field here as we are going to make subtypes as there are two types of points or district headquarters we will be digitizing like district headquarters and Thana headquarters that's why we have to take a field there now I can see that there is a feature class under administrative headquarters naming headquarters and we have to go to subtypes and give that field that we have taken earlier now here we will uh, give code 1 and name it as district HQ and we have another uh, uh, HQ here headquarter which we will uh, give code 2 and name it as Thana headquarter now simply if we drag this we can uh, see that there are two points for digitizing that have been saved in this feature class and we uh, will also do the same for the boundary we can see that there are two types of boundary here district boundary and Thana boundary first of all uh, first of all we have to take a new feature class this is this will be a line feature as boundaries are lines now we will also take a field here named boundary code and give it a data type we can give it simply short integer and there are also two types of boundaries that's why we have to go to subtypes and then select this boundary code field that uh, we have uh, saved or uh, created earlier now we will give code 1 as district boundary and then code 2 for upazila boundary as there are two types of boundary subtypes here if we have more you, you can add more as you wish I will take another feature class under the transport network data set feature data set and this will also be a line feature we will also take another field as we are going to create subtypes here we are giving it the name as uh, transport code keeping it at short integer then we are going to create subtypes from its properties select transport code as a subtype field and under this subtype field we are going to make two subtypes one is road and another one is the railway 
then ultimately there are water body and the river but i'm going to take just one um, feature as uh, this is uh, a digitization as a tutorial purpose and i'm taking polygon as rivers are polygon features i'm taking i will just take uh, one subtype as i'm not even going to uh, make subtypes i'm just uh, without any reason I'm, i have taken a sub uh, field name I even if i didn't take it it's okay because i'm not going to subtype it i'm just um, naming it as just i'm keeping just one subtype here named river i'm not going to separate water body and river as this is uh, for tutorial purpose you can do it for the uh, detailed when you work in a project simply i have deleted that and i'm simply uh, taken river again as i'm not creating subtypes so we, we don't have to do that subtype things here okay our whole geodatabase is now created now we will start digitizing one by one first of all we are going to digitize the headquarters F for that we can simply change the symbology of the headquarters we can i'm giving district headquarters at red color i'm taking thana headquarters symbology as a different one now we are going to go to our editor toolbar and if you don't have it here you can get it from customize and toolbars then you can take editors from here then for, uh, from editor toolbar you will start editing and click to create features then take district headquarter click in district headquarter now you will find the district headquarter in your map then simply click over the point of the district headquarter there is only one district uh, headquarter here and there are several dist thana headquarters you can see here i'm just simply clicking over those thana headquarters and i have selected thana hq from the create features tab and now i am digitizing one by one here as you can see I'm uh, not taking exactly all the Thana headquarters as I'm just uh, trying to uh, show you what's happening here. After taking all this, you have definitely have to save the edits and then you will click stop edits. After finishing that, okay, from here stop edits, then I have to start edit again. Now I'm going to um, digitize the boundaries. I have uh, selected district boundary as I'm going to uh, digitize district boundary here. Simply I have to zoom in to the district boundary. And you will digitize the district boundary as zoomed in as possible and fasting it forward. You can do it as uh, correctly as possible. I'm just showing is showing it as a tutorial purpose. You have to zoom in, zoom it in, and after finishing, finishing, you have to double click to uh, create create the whole feature line. Now I have taken Opposilla boundary, and from that, I will start digitizing the Opposilla boundaries as we can see here. You can uh, simply recognize which one is the Upazila boundary, which one is the district boundary from the legend bar of the map. In the legend, you can you will be able to see which line is or which point is showing uh, which feature. I am simply not uh, taking all the Upazilas uh, as I am uh, making the video for tutorial purpose. You can see that I have taken a line. I have I can take several lines. I have taken uh, three uh, Upazila boundaries. I can simply change the symbology of the line features. You can make it as you wish. I am keeping uh, the district boundary and Thana boundaries the uh, different colors 
now definitely you have to save the edits and then stop edit after finishing it you can simply drag the other <coughs> feature that you want to and georeference oh sorry that you want to digitize now I'm going to digitize transport networks I have selected it and then started editing simply railway is showing I'm clicking railway to digitize the railway and this is the railway line how am I going to understand it you can see it in the legend this is the railway line in the map if you make any mistake or take any wrong points simply you can you can click Control Z to undo your point okay hope it's clear if you take any wrong points while digitizing you can simply click Control plus Z to undo your digitizing okay now after taking the whole railway I have double clicked and left it there now I have I have um, selected a road from the create features tab and now I am digitizing as road as much as road as I can I'm not digitizing <coughs> all the roads or I'm not digitizing those perfectly but when you do any project you must have to create or digitize this roads with perfection okay simply I have taken several roads I have not taken all the roads now um, after you are taking all the roads you have to save the edits you ha then stop edit simply I am giving it a, a different legend different legend to railway different legend to road remember in this video we are learning how to digitize under the feature data sets and how to digitize in a geo database we have created a geo database and then we digitized uh, several features under geo database you can also do digitizing under just simply creating shape files under geo databases okay now i have i'm going to uh, digitize the river i have uh, dragged the river to my table of contents then started editing now simply i have uh, from create features i have selected river and now i am simply digitizing the rivers while digitizing river you have to get the uh, one side of the river after taking one side of the river then you will take um, click on the other side of the river and come back to in the point from where you started and then double click there then the whole polygon will be created as the river is a polygon feature okay my uh, I have taken uh, the river I'm saving the edit and stopping my edit you can change the symbology of the river I haven't correctly taken the river um, as I'm just showing it for tutorial purpose now I am um, showing the all the digitized features at once and you can see that simply it is getting a form of a map and it will be more perfect if you uh, take any other features or uh, digitize it perfectly okay thank you